German defense minister named the year when war between Russia and NATO could begin. German defense minister Boris Pistorius predicted when Russia would attack NATO. This is known from the build material. Pistorius presented his plans for a new military service in Germany, in Berlin. He attributed the need to a different threatening situation than a few years ago. The minister clarified that we are talking about the war being waged by Russian President Vladimir Putin against Ukraine. He called for the assumption that as early as 2029, Kremlin troops could attack NATO. We must also restore deterrence among personnel, Pistorius stressed. In Germany, they are going to increase the number of armed forces from 181 to 203,000 people. In addition, according to NATO and Bundeswehr estimates, the army needs approximately 200,000 more reservists. The military wants to recruit the most qualified, the most motivated. The implementation of the new plan is expected to cost Germany 1.4 billion euros. The allocation of this amount must be voted on in the 2025 budget. Let us remind you that in Germany they plan to send out questionnaires to 18-year-old boys and girls, from which 40,000 will then be selected and sent to military training. In particular, it is noted that after 13 years of the country's refusal to compulsory military service, the head of the German Ministry of Defense presented the idea of recruiting soldiers again. According to all international military experts, it should be assumed that Russia will be able to carry out a military attack on a NATO state or a neighboring state from 2029, Pistorius commented on his decision. Earlier, Boris Pistorius said that Russia continues to accumulate resources to start a war in Europe and Georgia and Moldova is under greatest threat. The Houthis started a joint operation with Iraqi militias against Israel. The Houthi group's military spokesman in Yemen, Yahya Sari, announced that their forces along with Iraqi Islamic resistance carried out two military operations targeting Israeli targets in two cities in the country. According to Sari, this was the first coordinated operation between the Houthis and Iraqi militias. During it, important targets were hit in Ashdod, south of Tel Aviv, and Haifa, north of it. In addition, they carried out a third operation targeting the Tutor ship in the Red Sea because the company that owns it violated the decision to ban entry into the ports of occupied Palestine, the Houthi spokesperson noted. The Houthis say the ship was seriously damaged by an attack by an unmanned boat and aerial drones. Sari once again warned all companies about the consequences of interaction with Israel. If the warnings are not taken seriously, company ships will be attacked in our area of operation, said Sari. The Houthis said the Tudor coal carrier was seriously damaged and vulnerable to sinking after they targeted the vessel with an unmanned surface boat, drones and ballistic missiles. The ship was hit by about 126 km southeast of Hodaida. Maritime security firm Ambri said the impact of the unmanned surface vessel caused severe flooding and damage to the engine room, the U.S. Central Command said in a statement on the attack, which was the Houthis' first using a boat as a weapon. It has been launching scores of drone and missile attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden since November in support of the Palestinians under Israeli attack in Gaza. They have sunk one ship seized another vessel and killed three seafarers in several attacks. Recently, Yemen's Houthi rebels have claimed responsibility for a small watercraft and missile attack that left a Greek-owned cargo ship taking water and in need of rescue near the Red Sea port of Hodaida.